So recently I was looking through my comments and this popped up. It's a fair point. Let's look at this about the Crafting Box 4.0. So we all know that the Crafting Box 4.0 has come out in the new 2023 Summer Wave. It's going to be very exciting, this wave. But is the Crafting Box 4.0 really worth it? It's a very expensive set. And it actually doesn't look as good as the other ones. The other crafting boxes felt more like Minecraft. They had a lot more grey bricks, a lot more duller colours, a bit like Minecraft. As well as some nice vibrant ones, but they fit in more with the Minecraft theme. And they felt more creative than this one. This one has just a load of bright colours, weird pieces for Minecraft sets, odd colours. And the minifigures are good. But the colours and the decision of what types of pieces they use, not really good. This is definitely my least favourite of all the crafting boxes after the crafting box 3.0. They seem to be going downhill since 2.0. Now 3.0 isn't that bad, don't get me wrong. But it's just not as good as the other two. The other two felt very creative, they felt a lot more creative. Like they felt like it was like your own crafting table. You had all of the pieces you need to make your own world and stuff. Whereas this one just feels like a set. 3.0 and 4.0 have been designed to be made for real sets. Whereas the original crafting boxes had been designed to give you pieces to make stuff on your own. Minifigs wise, it's a nice set. It's got some really good minifigures in it. Some of the stuff include new cat variants, some nice skins, things like that. But it's the build that it comes with that just isn't that good. For example, the use of those thin beam pieces it just doesn't fit with LEGO Minecraft. LEGO Minecraft never uses those except for maybe in the Pillage Outpost when they use one by ones and things like that. And also just for mine shafts. But for a normal set, you wouldn't use that because you don't find things that thin except for fences. And who's building a place like that using fences? And... You don't really get fences in that colour unless you're getting Warp Forest or Crimson Forest fences, which nobody uses. As well as that, it just feels really small. And the cat theme isn't something I particularly like about this one. The crafting box shouldn't be themed to cats, it should be themed to making your own stuff. So one of the builds feels super small as well. It's just a bit ugly and the other one is just a big cat house with the head of a cat on top of it. It just doesn't look very nice, and it isn't very well made. The minifigs are okay with Alex and Steve, Zombie, and Cat. They do, it does go with the theme of cats, but for a crafting box to have a cat theme just doesn't feel right. It feels like it should have more of a Minecraft theme, something that will actually help you build your own world, not something that's just another set to add on that doesn't even look very good. I can't even think about what you can make with this because of the types of pieces they've used. It's just not good for making your own things. Taking this apart and trying to rebuild it into other creations just doesn't feel like it's going to work. And the crafting box has kind of lost its creativity in this way. Plus, it's just really small for the price that they're asking you to pay for it. It's just not something that I would buy. And I think the first two crafting boxes were definitely better than this one. Out of the rankings, this would be the worst of the crafting boxes. The creativity isn't very good. The minifigures are okay. And the size for the price, the price per piece ratio is not very good, even for LEGO Minecraft standards. And those are the problems with the new LEGO Crafting Box 4.0. I really hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe up there. There's another video down there. I really hope you enjoyed. See you all next time.